हाँ शुक्राना मेरे मालिक अनंतम शुक्राना आप जी का कोटि कोटि शुक्राना ओम नमः शिवाय शिव जी सदा सहाय ओम नमः शिवाय गुरु जी सदा सहाय ओम नमः शिवाय शिव जी सदा सहाय ओम नमः शिवाय गुरु जी सदा सहाय ओम नमः शिवाय शिव जी सदा सहाय ओम नमः शिवाय गुरु जी सदा सहाय नमस्ते गुरु जी जय गुरु जी गुरु जी की प्यारी सास गुरु जी टुडे आई एम रीडिंग लाइट ऑफ डिविटी द चैप्टर द टेम्पल दैट गुरु जी बिल्ड अवे फार अवे फ्रॉम द ग्लैमर ऑफ न्यू डेली लाइज अ प्लेस वेयर पीपल सोल कैन बी चार्ज एंड देयर हार्ट सेड्यूस्ड विद ब्यूटी here the air is fresh the grass is green and the eye brought up shot by a gleaming white marble structure mounted by a massive granite linga the linga proclaims that the this place is the seat of lord shiva it climbs to the sky professing the rise of shiva dharma or righteous righteousness and a new dawn of religious consciousness a figurine of lord ganesha intelligence personified greets the fortunate visitors to whom the temple doors have opened a head of it a beautiful statue in the front garden shows lord shiva as a handsome fair youth as fair as kanfer about embodiment of mercy he is the essence of the world garlanded with serpents may he the father and the mother forever live in our hearts our fulsome salutations to them kapoor gauram karnavataram sansar saram bhujgen bhujgendra haram सदा वसंत हृदय वंदे विंदे भवन भवानी सहित नमामी हिज वाइट काइंड आईज आर ओपन हिज फेस इज रिलैक्स इन ए हाफ स्माइल एंड हिज हैंड इज रेज टू ग्रैंड ब्लेसिंग्स हिज सीट इज एन एनॉर्मस ओपन लोटस फ्लावर्स एंड ही हैज for his canopy the five headed serpent cheshnaks inside this the complex a gleaming brass visage of the great lord shows him in the same posture significantly shiva the supreme yogi is not meditating he is on his tiger mat and he has just uncrossed one of his legs ready to look into the problems of his devotees the sacred words om namah shivaya are emblazoned inside the main hall they offer an immortal promise that lord shivas and indeed guru ji's help for they are one and the same is at hand to anyone who but trust him the making of the structure that these grounds are indeed lord shankara's is born out by the numerous incidents that have been witnessed by these by those involved in its construction and those who frequent the temple when the mandir was being built the work faced many challenges and each time these challenges were overcome miraculously showing guru ji's involvement in every detail at first the ground had to be cleared of the shrubs trees and build and boulders before any construction could be started but around every bush and under every boulder were snakes and more snakes the laborer 
hired to the job got frightened and ran away under untired ragveer guruji's devotee who was overseeing the making of the mandir hired more laborers but again unable to tackle the huge numbers of snakes they fled finally ragveer spoke to guruji and told him to the problem guruji just told him to hire more laborers assuring him that this problem would not occur again and indeed the snakes disappeared from the site and the clearing proceeded in peace the basic construction was undertaken taken during the rainy season and yet every time the concrete was to be poured the rain would obligingly here this happened so many times that everyone involved in the constructions realized that these happenings were not sheer chance as guri used to say everything by choice nothing by coincidence the architect architectural textual architectural design as created by guruji's devotee ajay bhardwaj had to have the shivalinga super structure the shivalinga is the divine symbol of lord shiva above the dome of the temple this would have been easy if the shivalinga had a solid base but the dome could not have taken the weight of a solid shivalinga shivalingas and moreover a hollow base would draw all eyes upward into the shivalinga reminding us that we are within guruji's sharan there was only one mason in delhi who had the ability to do this but he was in very difficult circumstances how ragveer managed to find this particular person and how this person was able to build the shivalinga is another satsang in itself enough to say that here that the sheer beauty of the architectural and engineering feats on display are display are testaments of guruji's grace the bade mandir is his seat of spirituality the favored land of shiva and nanak here omkar and om are one reflecting of each other timelessly the temple welcomes the spirit of man forever and he smiles at all who come he blesses again and again and yet again and the light of divinity shines ever brighter even the soil is miraculous as the mandir and its surroundings were developed it was clear that the place was indeed favored by lord shiva even to the casual observer the growth of the plants and trees was exceptional a lady planted at the temple a few of the flowering plants she had bought for her farmers to her amazement their plant, their plants bloomed into flowers of at least twice the size in the mandir as compared with those planted at her farmhouse once permission was sought from guruji to have the lawn grass recarpeted he gave his go ahead but there was not much time left a temple function was fast approaching the temple gardener went ahead with the task once the grass was laid down it was clear that the decision was not correct on two counts more time should have been given for appreciable growth of the new car- carpet of grass and the variety that had been selected was one that tends to cut the feet 
initially and becomes soft only after the first cutting, which was out of question due to due to paucity of time. However, to everyone's amazement, the grass grew exceptionally fast. The first cutting was taken up well before the function, and the growth was so good that another trimming was managed just before the function. The quality of the carpeted lawn on the day of the function was admirable, and the gurus of grass growing were stumped. Guruji is always there. There are some inexplicable going on in the mandir that hint at a supernatural force going about its benign work. Regular visitors to the temple have witnessed the idol of Lord Shiva on the temple ground changing expressions. And in year 2006, during Holi, there was a spot of color on Shivaji, Shivji, brass idol that adorns the hall. It is also certain the omniscient, omniscient Guru has the temple within his protective gaze at all times. A school teacher recounts a memorable experience. She had gone to the mandir very early in the occasion of Guru Purnima so that she could attend school later. She reached the mandir at 6.15 a.m. Only the gardener saw her come to pay her obeisance to her guru on this auspicious day. And as was later confirmed, he told no one of the visit, but someone else had also seen her. On the teacher's very next visit to Empire State, Guruji called her and said, Auntie, you had visited the mandir on Guru Purnima at 6.15 am. I was watching you in my meditation. Renaissance of faith. Ages hence men shall look upon the sacred spot as the birthplace of dharma. Within our own lifetime, the Bade Mandir shall rise foremost in the estimation of men. It shall herald a new dawn of spiritual consciousness and inaugurate through the men, women and children. It blesses an era of goodwill among mankind and peace among neighbors. For behold, the Shivalinga has risen again. Its ascension proclaims the coming of deliverance. Those oppressed by the iron hand of fate shall be released from the miserable bondages of disease and ignorance. Those bound and subjugated by rampant evil shall find new strength and courage and win. The ocean of suffering shall be humbled by the small boat of faith and courage that braves its way through through its oars being the Sadguru's word and his grace Om Namah Shivai the wayfarers shall cry Shivji Sada Sahar and they shall find safe harbor in times of crisis and moments of searing agony these words emblazoned in the temple, branded in their hearts and minds through Guruji's labor shall be their battle cry, their friend, their protector, their love, their soul guiding light, Adharma shall be caught at its climax and they shall be saved. The mandir shall be the salvation of those who struggle through the material and psychological debris of a civilization at war with itself. Guruji, Guruji's grace manifesting through the temple will heal them. In times to come, 
the mandir will testify to his being the winds of the world shall carry his word he will be done and the temple will remain as his lordship's mark of mercy on earth may lord shiva allow all to come to his sacred grounds may be grant all the wishes of those who come and may the sadguru forever keep us in his sharan jai guru ji shukrana mere malik anantam shukrana aap ji ka koti koti shukrana mere data om namah shivaye shiv ji sada sahaye om namah shivaye guru ji sada sahaye om namah shivaye shiv ji sada sahaye